Hi, my name is Kirsten Campbell and I'm 17 years old and I'm a senior at Lenape High School. My name is Julia, I'm 13 years old and I go to Delray High School. Hi, I'm Miranda Zano Pacheco, I'm 15 and I go to Lenape High School. Hi, my name is Sarah Hozak, I'm 16 years old and I'm a junior at Morristown High School. My name is Devin Marceau, I'm a 16 year old junior at Lenape High School. In my spare time, I like to listen to music, go on the computer, read, watch TV, and do cheerleading. I enjoy being involved with theater. I'm a part of the girls' cross country team, Lenape TV, the Smoke Signal, which is our school newspaper, and the Kemp Club, among other things. Alice Paul was born on January 11, 1885, in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. As a child, she was taught by her parents and teachers that women and men were equal and should be treated equally. She was raised in a Quaker family. Alice was working on her master's degree for social work over in England when she got involved with suffrage. After the suffrage movement in England, she moved back to America and she took all the things she learned in England and brought them here. She was the first person to ever pick at the White House. She also started a parade on the inauguration of President Woodrow Wilson. Alice was arrested and put in jail for seven months for obstructing traffic. In jail, she went on a hunger strike and many followed her. They put her into a psychiatric ward and threatened to put her into an insane asylum. They had to force feed her food too because she wouldn't eat. Um, many s newspaper stories about the conditions in the jail were starting to float around and that angered a lot of people. So she was released from jail after five weeks. Suffrage was passed in 1920. Tennessee was the last state to um, ratify that. After suffrage was passed, she wrote the ERA, the Equal Rights Amendment. She continued to fight for equal rights up until 1977 when she passed. Equality of rights under the law shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of sex. API stands for the Alice Paul Institute. It is a non-profit organization in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. API is Alice Paul's childhood home. Today it is used for events and programs dedicated to keep Alice Paul's beliefs thriving. API strives to make sure that everyone knows that they are equal, regardless of their sex. The Girls Advisory Council is made up of high school aged girls who meet about once a month to help plan and organize events at the Alice Paul Institute. Our events usually focus on educating and empowering young girls in the community and we do that by using Alice Paul's uh, beliefs and we work those into our events that we plan. Um, the Girls Advisory Council has been really successful over the past couple years um, with the things that we've done in the community and across the country. Um, for example, two years ago in the summer of 2010, we had a video exchange with a girls group in Kigo, Uganda, and I actually got to go on to talk about that video exchange at the National Women's Studies Association Conference in Atlanta, Georgia last November. And that was such an amazing experience, getting to talk about the parallels of the lives of two groups of girls on opposite sides of the world. This March, we got to go to Washington, D.C. to attend a rally regarding the Equal Rights Amendment and its passage through Congress. And we actually got to participate in a national press conference, which was really amazing. And then we went to rally our local congressman to ask for his support for the Equal Rights Amendment. And this is such an amazing experience to get to really see how the entire process works and be a part of that in Washington, D.C. We decided to start a blog in order to reach out to girls and women across the country and around the world. Even though we're only teenagers, we still have opinions and voices that we want to share. Each week, one of us will post about a different topic on the blog, a topic that interests us and that we want people to know about. We'll focus on important issues such as women in politics and the media, and also talk about things like women's roles in society and um, history, literature, and even our everyday lives. And since Election Day is coming up, we'll also talk about the importance of voting. Women didn't always have the right to vote, but thanks to some hard work and very courageous women, including Alice Paul, we obtained that privilege. 
It is imperative that all women exercise this right. We must intelligently investigate the platforms of those who are running for office. While doing so, we must be sure to include issues that directly impact women, some examples being health care, salaries, and equal rights. Additionally, we need more women leaders to convey our message directly on Capitol Hill. According to the 2010 census, 66.6% .6 of women are registered to vote. We need to increase that number and make sure we make it to the voting booth to ensure our voices will be heard. We cannot afford to leave our destinies in the hands of others. If we do, we will cease to move forward.